What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Today I got a good one for you. It's one I've been waiting on for a while to come out and be released. And as you can tell by the by the title of this, it's the Eris, uh, it's the Hemlock Eris by Work Tough. Um, man, it did not disappoint when I pulled it out. Let me just start by showing you the how it comes. It comes in this cool little carrying case here, like this, with a uh, little zip up, which is kind of a nice touch, you know. I, you know, most knives don't come with something like that. And let me just start too by saying, uh, man, I love Work Tough knives, man. They're awesome, awesome. You cannot go wrong with uh, Work Tough knives. It's just you know, the, 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 the manufacturing, uh, itself is great. All the, all the designers are awesome. You know, I, I, I'm friends with most of them on Facebook. Uh, I actually met Zeke, which is one of the designers at, uh, the Long Beach, the Long Beach Blade Show and super cool dude. All of them. It's, you know, I guess we're cut from the same cloth, right? You know, we have that common interest in blades and man, they're just all cool dudes. You know, um, uh, I could see getting along with any of those guys out, you know, being buddies with any of them if they, you know, live closer, if we were, you know, near, <laughs> near each other here. So, with that being said, let's get onto the knife here. So, it does come with, they always throw in this, which is pretty awesome, this, uh, the Work Tough Cooler, a cozy for either beer or soda, depending on if you drink or not. <laughs> comes with a bag with uh, the attachments here. You got your, um, lanyard here you got a orange thing is the ferro rod striker and all your hardware for attaching the straps here and man so that's kind of cool you know everything uh usually throwing all this extra stuff here which is kind of cool um it comes with obviously the patch that they put on the on uh you can put on that or you put on wherever you want a hat or a shirt or a jacket comes with a strap so you can strap it since this, this is a beast it's a freaking heavy beast i think right under three pounds and uh all right let's get started let's check out this bad boy oh man i absolutely love it absolutely love it so starting with the sheath here the kydex obviously kydex sheath and almost no rattle at all super i mean for as heavy as this thing almost three pounds it's locked in there pretty damn tight and i mean you can even hear it when i listen to this when i lock it in I mean, that's secure. That is secure. Uh, awesome job on the sheath. Awesome job, guys. Let's check out that blade. Look at this bad boy. Man, what a beast. I mean, just uh, just to have it in my hands. I love it. Oh, freaking huge, huge knife. Look how thick that is. Man. Well, let's, let's go over the specs first. I'll go over the specs with you. I got them right here. On the side here and then uh i'll give you my impression on it and some comparison here and we'll go from there so this is fixed blade uh full tank construction full tank construction you got 16.1 inch overall length blade length of 9.25 inch uh cutting edge 8.6 uh, i'm sorry 8.26 uh blade thickness is 0.283 thick thick ass stock um it's a saber ground with a convex edge classified as a chopper obviously <laughs> this is definitely a chopper right here and uh let's see here um the steel type is going to be the japanese sk85 with a uh, rock hold hardness of 56 to 58 and tiger stripe right i guess that's what they call tiger stripe the black on orange there uh liners and 3d machine g10 handles and i love that texturing on there and this one here says 45 ounces that's how much it weighs there 45 ounces um folding taco sheath black's ky kydex sheath and that, that's it right there for all your dimensions now to me this thing is like just futuristic man this is like the future cleaver right chopper cleaver hatchet I brought out a cleaver just to compare. This is here. This one here is old school from the 50s. Old school cleaver here. And look at this one to compare. It. <laughs> it's the future of cleavers, man. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it, man. This thing is a beast. And uh and work tough with this man, work tough did it again. They they put a mirror finish on that, the edge itself. And this thing is freaking a razor blade. For the size of this and thick of this blade. 
This edge is one of the sharpest, I mean, it is the sharpest uh, for this thick of a blade that I have. It's super, super sharp. I mean, I would, man, you drop this and it found your toe, you're chopping your toes off, man. <laughs> and I love how you have this edge here. I mean, this, even just pushing on something straight down like that, man, that would slice you up right there. And you still have a point. And the point is a thick, robust point. You ain't breaking that tip at all. Um, man, and their heat treat is usually always on point. And you got work tough gear. And you got his, uh, you got Hunter Cutchins' uh, logo there, the hemlock. And on this side, it just says Eris. Man, it is, and it feels so comfortable in the hand. I love it. I mean, whether you grab it from here or you go back to the very end for you're gonna do some chopping, get that momentum going, or if you go up to the choil right here, and everything is super, super smooth. I mean, they ground this down to where you can't even throw the middle and the G10 uh, start here on either side. I mean, it's super smooth all around the choil, super smooth, feels really good in the hand up close really good uh i mean the whole the whole handle just feels great and you got that texturing like i said earlier that just keeps it in your hand makes it gives you a good purchase you have jimping back here which is not too aggressive and it's actually feels really nice and like uh i believe uh there's been a few people that already uh did reviews on this so you can check out like eric from outer limitless and uh scab from choir boys cutlery uh, they've already done full reviews on this and you can see from their videos but i remember eric was saying he likes to choke up here when he he uses it close, which I can see that. I can see this getting more control. Um, ballast point, when you put your hand in his troll, it feels super balanced. I mean, it's heavy. This thing's a heavy beast, but I mean, you know, for me, it's not not that bad. You know, I can see for, if you're not used to a big heavy knife, then this might be a little little heavy for you. But the balance point is right where the edge starts. You gotta be careful because this thing is a freaking razor blade. Not gonna chop my hand off, but you can see there. That's the balance point, right where the edge starts. So it's pretty. For as big as it is, it's a balanced, pretty balanced blade. Um, I, awesome. I love the fuller. It's a little short fuller for, I mean, you could say for uh, taking out material, but I think more for just for looks. It looks freaking badass. <laughs> and uh, on both sides, you got that. Then you got your, your holes here for uh, latching right here. And then you got your uh, holes in the back here for... Give okay, me I'm back. So yeah, the dog was just barking over here at the neighbor, so... Uh, he thinks he's uh, he's still a little baby pup, but he thinks he's a vicious uh, doggy now. So, <laughs> anyways, back to the knife. Yeah, um, I mean, I freaking absolutely love this freaking thing, and it's just futuristic. I mean, it's just awesome, awesome knife. You know, um, I love the thickness, I love the shape of it. I mean, it's just super, super cool. Um, man, Hunter, you knocked it out of the park, brother. I love it, absolutely love it. And even, you know, and you could tell this is uh, very functional. It's a fun I'll, I'll work tough, make functional blades, but this design is super functional. Um, you know, it's, it could be a little bit intimidating because of the weight, like I said. Um, it's, there is a little, a little bit of a learning curve if you're not used to dealing with heavy, thick blades. Uh, I, I love them. I love just, you know, thick, just robust blades. Um, and like I said, this thing is a freaking razor blade. So I did bring out a piece of paper to show you and uh oh actually you know before i do the paper cutting test you know let me let me back a little back up a little bit let me show you the comparison size so i did bring out the this one here is uh the um nomad field knife designed by zeke okay, just to show you the difference here in size so it kind of similar to in size you know it's gonna it's not a super huge knife but definitely the, i think this is the thickest in the the work tough lineup you know but um, as you can see compared to those two, and this one is not, not shabby in size, but it's still thicker. Um, very robust, this one here, but definitely, you know, close to the same size. And then since, you know, a lot of people don't have work tough knives, you know, um, you know, you should, but uh, they are hard to, sometimes, you know, they, they do, they do, they do have, uh, they do limited runs. So it is kind of hard to get some, uh, but just so, so I'm gonna bring out a knife here that everyone knows you know, this one's done a thousand times, but you can see comparison and size. And this will be like more of a, more for people that are not familiar with work tough knives in general, we'll be able to get more of an understanding on the size. So I brought out, everyone knows the BK9. So everyone knows the BK9. And we'll show you the size on that. Look at that. So, <laughs> so it does dwarf the BK9. I mean, I'm trying to line it up in the back here, but let me see. <laughs> so you can see how the, the size difference. It is a huge knife, you know, and uh, the thickness there. And I would, you know, when it comes to the, the heat treat that Work Tough does on their, their knives, 
uh, all day long i would put it up against the 1090 crovan all day long this sk85 steel um i've never had any issues with chipping rolling nothing at all when it comes to these uh these this this material this steel just awesome awesome blade and uh <clears throat> show you again compared to this one here this is only a big one the meat cleaver but man future future meat cleaver this is this is from the future this is from the past here <laughs> love it and so let me see i brought so back to the paper now i'm gonna paper to show you how sharp this thick ass blade is i mean absolute razor blade for the size of this knife it's an absolute razor blade all parts of it Even the front, let's go to the front here. The, e the very front edge. Oops, that was me, I ripped it there. There you go. So for as thick as that blade is, it's still pretty damn sharp. Now let's go, you know, I'm just gonna show you here. Let's do arm hair, show you guys how sharp this is. Oh, this is super razor, razor sharp. Man, not even just, just barely passing and it's, holy crap. That's insane. I'm being careful because I can feel it pulling skin. But let me show you guys. Can you guys see that? Damn, just razor, razor sharp. <sighs> Boys and girls, I love it. I love it. I mean, this thing is pretty much me as a knife. <laughs> love it, bitching. So um, I know I'm probably gonna disappoint a lot of you guys. I'm not gonna do a, a uh, smashing with this today i'm gonna be testing this at all today um I'm, i'll probably in the future i probably will i'm debating right now because i do love this and they're hard to come by it's not even about the money it's just about they do such a limited run on these and i don't want to scrape it all up and scratch it all up because i do like i told you guys before about 85 percent, maybe even closer to 90 percent of the knives i use i test i do have some that i like to keep in my 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 hutch as uh collectors and future collectors and most of these work tough so man i mean they're hard they're so nice and so beautiful they're hard to use and smash them up and they still even even this one this this nomadic you saw go back and see my reviews i tested this and it still looks amazing so it holds up really well but i'm debating in the future i still might do a video you know what the hell i still might do one with this i'm not gonna do one today though um for other reasons too i don't have time but uh, i'm still thinking i'm still thinking i just want to keep this as a showpiece man this thing is awesome keep it in the hutch but in the future i might do a few demonstrations with it, at least some at least smash through some things so uh yeah i uh, hope you guys will will enjoy that um that'll be in the future though like i said for right now i'm gonna hang on to it because these are hard to come by they're sold out i mean they were they sold out within the first half hour of releasing these um and like i said before in my other video which to them it's not a problem but to us as consumers it's kind of a problem is that they have limited run and they run out fast like that you know so um if you don't get one right away you're not gonna get one um but this one man i'm so glad i got this one this is badass um highly highly recommend if you can't get your hands on one um oh this one says uh, first production run is what it says it has a date didn't see that there but all right youtube please like and subscribe and until next knife gun or whatever